everyone. Welcome to the eighth lecture of the series. So in this presentation, I'm going to go through some of the basic operations on finite automaton. So let's get started. Now, let us first start out by defining what is a transducer over a semi-ring. So suppose we are given um, a semi-ring of O plus and O times. So this particular notation here means that given a transducer with X as input and Y as output, right, what you're going to do is to find to return the weight Right, you want to find return the weight of path, the path that contains x as an input, y as an output, containing all initial and final states. So, uh, so if you discover a path, right, you discover a path, you take the weight of the path and then you multiply it with the the the, in the initial state and uh, the uh, the weight of the final state as well. So th this will give you the total weight of the path, right? So. All you need to do, if you if you find that this is a bit uh, confusing, just recall this simpler version, right? Re recall from uh, the previous few lectures, right? That you have, uh, you, if you're given this particular uh, uh, finite automaton, right? From starting from S, ending at T, right? You identify the three paths, right? And then you you add the path together. So basically, uh, the only difference here is that there there is a uh, the ex extra input and output, as well as the uh, the initial weight function and the uh, and the uh, destination destination uh, weight function uh, or the final uh, weight function. Um, so I hope that this is not too hard for you guys to understand. If you still don't understand this, um, you can just uh, go back to the previous lectures and uh, take a look at it. Now, uh, let's let's uh, try to I'll try to explain this further, right? Using some examples. So suppose we're given a single path from uh, from zero to one to three, right? Zero, one to three. Uh, formally, I'll have to write it this way, right? Uh, zero a, small a, capital A, right, with the weight one, right? You can see that this captures this particular transition here, right? And then one c b one three captures ca captures this particular transition here. So, so you start from zero, ends at three, right? So, what would be the input? The input would be well, you can see a and c, right? A and c. So the input will be a c, and why would the output, right, will be capital A capital B, right? So what would be the weight? Well, we will just have to identify the weight of this path, right? Weight of this path, multiply it with the weight of um, the, uh, init uh, the initial state and the weight of the final state, right? So in, in our example, right? In our example, the all possible path in this set is just this single path. So what you, what you do, you just uh, find the weight of the path. The weight of the path is one times one. You can see this is the weight of the path. This is the weight of the one, one times one, and it's over a tropical semi-ring, which is multiplication is just addition. So, so one times one is two, right? You add the initial weight, add the final weight is uh, lambda zero, row three, right? So lambda zero is zero, right? See, lambda zero is zero, row three is 0 0.5. So all, 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 all you have to do is multiply them together over a tropical semi-ring, which means it's adding them together, zero plus one plus one plus half, and it's two and a half, 2.5. Right. So this is what basically uh, this particular notation means. Right. Hopefully you won't have uh, trouble understanding it. So now let's move on to the six basic operations that you will see. Um, so suppose you are given a, a transducer, X and Y, uh, with X as input, Y as output. The first operation is known as cleanly closure. So what happens is that um, if you have a um, unclosed transducer, right, it joins the 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 um, end, end state to get together with the initial state again, right? So it modifies the automaton so that the set of symbol sequences or transduction is, sequ is sequentially repeated. So it closes the transducer. Well, you will see an example later on, right? A union, um, a union is to combine two automata in parallel, whereas a concatenation is to con combine two automata in series, right? So the way to remember this is that you're given two uh, uh, transducer, when we, when we concatenate them, it's like you can treat it as a string, right? So you, you are combining the string sort of in a, a fashion or such as series, right? So, so union would be the, uh, would be the combination or, uh, that results in a parallel transducer, right? So the other three more important operations are involved are inversing. So inverse is to exchange the input and output symbol. So suppose you have A as an input, B as an output, you, the, your new transducer would flip it would have B as an input and A as an output, right? And reversal, um, well, it's a bit hard to imagine. You can uh, you can imagine it as um, putting a mirror right in the middle of the transducer, right? Uh, taking the mirror image, right? 
taking the mirror image and then uh, making the um, make, make, making the initial state, the final state as in, uh, initial state and initial state as the final state. Uh, you, you, you're going to see an example later, so don't worry. And finally, projection. Uh, I, I suppose this is easiest to understand of all of them. Is to convert a transducer. Remember, a transducer has an output and a weight, right, into an acceptor, which is uh, just an, uh, which is just just has a, uh, a weight, right. So you are, you omit the output or input labels. So some of the examples. Now, uh, a cleaning closure, right. Suppose you're given a transducer T A, a cleaning closure, uh, a cleaning closed trans transducer of T. A will look something like this. So what happened is that you, 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 the final state is merged, is looped back to the initial state. Right? Say the final state is looped back to the initial state. Right? So um, because every single time you reached here, you incur the cost. Right? Right? Every single time you incur a cost and you move away from this, you should incur the same cost as well. So that's why this uh, epsilon transition here. Right? You can see this is an epsilon transition. Right? Has a weight of 0 0.5, and because you, this is initial state, right? If you re, let's say you re-arrived at an initial state, you, you wouldn't want to incur this this 0.2 of a weight again. So that's why this weight is removed and uh, put into an epsilon transition. So this is known as a cleaning closure. Um, naturally, uh, I hope this is intuitive to you. This um, Definition, right? So you sum. Uh, suppose if you complete it one time, you'll be t to power one. I hope you still can remember what was what was the definition of this, right? And if you complete it twice, you complete the loop twice, it'll be t times t or t square, and you complete it thrice, and so on and so forth, all all the way to infinity, and then you're gonna sum all the weights up up, right, to determine what's the uh, what's the final weight, right? So this is known as a Kleene closure. The next would be a union. Uh, well, it's easy. It's just to make them into a sort of a parallel transducer. So you take the first transducer, second transducer, and then you arrange them in parallel. So you put a common initial node here uh, that stretches out, and then in this particular transition will inherit the first first uh, initial node's weight, and then of course this particular transition here will inherit the second uh, transition, uh, the the initial uh, weight of the uh, node here, right? And then from there on, it's exactly the same. So this this particular portion is T A, and this particular portion, of course, is T B, right? Remember, it's just in parallel. That's all. And because you have two outputs, if you have two different outputs, what do you do? Well, you add them together and determine the weight, right? So th that's it. And that's why you add them together and you determine the weight. And then concatenation is, of course, to arrange them in uh, in in uh, series, right? So this here, it's this transducer here T A. Is this one? This transducer here is this one. And you're gonna merge them, right? And this this particular uh, weight here, this particular weight here is of course uh, calculated by uh, taking all the possible paths and then uh, you know uh, and then you you do determine the weight here of this particular uh, transition, right? And of course, given any input x and output y, right? Given any input x and y, um, what you're gonna do is to to multiply them because now now there's one path and a Path, another path, and you need to multiply the weight of all the paths together, and that's why there's a multiplication sign here, right? So there's concatenation. What else? Uh, there's an inverse. So an inverse is to flip, right? Small a, capital A, small c, capital B, and you can see here is capital B, small c, capital A, small a, right? The, the rest of the thing doesn't change. So this is known as an inverse. Well, it's defined exactly like how you see in a function, right? So t inverse x y is equals to, uh, to the original transducer with y as an input and x as an output, All right? So this is exactly how it would look like. And then a reversal. I uh, suppose you you place a mirror here, here, and then you 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 flip it around and you take the mirror image, mirror image, and you will look something like this. I hope it makes uh, intuitive sense that this is uh, this is how it will work. So if it's it has two different state, what you're gonna do is to combine the state into one final state, one initial state. So you can see initial state, right? And this initial state. Will will go will go uh, and they'll inherit the weight of uh, this node and this will inherit the weight of this node. Right, so that's it. And 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 you see the the because it's flipped about say the the the, the center line here, right? And uh, the the final the final node will be will look something like this, right? So this is known as a reversal. And finally, a projection. So a projection. Right, is uh, is to reduce a transducer to a to a uh, uh, accept, acceptor, 
So there, there are many ways to write this. This is the most common way. So suppose you have y as an uh, uh, input. So that's it. This is that's it, right? You you just you just take away one of it. You just take away the the, the, the output. That's all. You just take away the output. So given y as an output, given y as an output, right? Take it away, and you are leave, left with x, right? Therefore, you you have an acceptor in this case instead of a transducer. So I hope you have understand. Uh, I've just understood. Sorry. Uh, what 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 is what, what is meant by WFST over semi ring, and the six uh, uh, operations. So for the next uh, lecture, um, I'm going to move on to the more specific transducer operations, namely composition, composition and optimization. Okay, so these are the three books that I uh, that I used and I referred to. Uh, one very very uh, important book that I would urge you to read is uh, the Weighted Automata Algorithms uh, by Mori. Right, and if you have been, I hope to see you uh, in the next lecture. Thank you.